Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech and continuing on from our previous videos regarding the Cool Engine P2, we're going to be looking at how to configure your pool settings, wallet address, so on and so forth. There's a few parameters, a few tidbits that I just want you to be aware of and we're just going to focus it on this video. Algorithm and others will come in a separate one. But a huge shout out to JingleMoney.com for allowing us to utilize this device, which is an FPJ. It's in the shell of an ASIC, but it's in FPJ form, allowing us to mine various cryptocurrencies like Carlson Hash, Nexal AI, Radiant, uh, Ironfish, Alfium, and so on and so forth with future revisions possibly coming in the future. I don't know. We'll have to stay tuned for that. But still, huge shout out to JingleMining.com for allowing us to utilize this device and bring this data to you. Now, let's get into it. And I have two versions, right? Because we have the P2 management tool, which I talked about in my initial setup video. And then I have the K10 tool uh, that is in English, right? Because the P2 is just in Chinese, so it's very hard to see. So with the K10 tool, small window right here, I'm going to drop down and select uh, the K10. 103, right, uh, which I believe stands for the K10 Plus, not entirely sure, but hit OK. Now the window pops up and you can see the buttons here are English, while the buttons in the original tool provided through JingleMind.com, which is everything is linked down in the description, is in Chinese. So first steps first is we got to define our IP uh, starting IP address as well as our default gateway. Go ahead and plug that in. Start revise. OK. Now a third window or a second window pops up click that now go to machine info and scan machine we should see a machine pop up right here there it is select it and it hits startup status and we're gonna have the same information show up that's already in our p2 tool so i like to use the english version of the k10 tool to kind of help me navigate but i really do everything and all the updates in the p2 uh management tool so now that we're confirming our pool, you know, our machine is online, we can see it, whatever it might be doing, we need to set up our pool. So you can see that the fifth tab in the first row, there's three rows. This is the first row right here where my mouse is at. This is the second row where of uh, buttons, and this is the third row. So the first row, last tab, or the fifth one is pool set. So if we correlate that with the P2 management tool. There it is. We got the exact same thing. They look exactly alike. Some of the buttons are not all converted, but most of them are at least what we need. For example, pull one is the first section right here. Pull two, second section, pull three, third section. And then we put our wallet address in this area and we set the pool parameter right here. And we need to talk about the pool parameter. But first things first, choose our algo. So we are in Radiant right now, but let's say uh, you just click the drop down for algo and choose whichever one you're on. So we're gonna leave it on Radiant. And then we got to put in the pool information. Now, obviously, that depends on which algo you are on and also what pool you want to mine to uh, that's going to determine your wallet address. If you're not familiar with the channel already, I would recommend anybody that's looking for a pool to mine on is just to go to miningpoolstats.stream, search your, uh, your favorite cryptocurrency, and when you do, you're going to see all the pools available and then links to them as well. So in this case, we're going to use viper.net. And if we go to Viper.net and click the little rocket ship, we'll wind up going to a page where we could select our cryptocurrency, Radiant, and then see all the servers available. Now, you always want to choose what's close or best uh, suited for your location. In my case, it's going to be in Georgia. And this is the server pool and address that we can use. Now, I did get this to work with the server URL, but as I talked about in my initial setup, the configuration on the uh, Jingle Mining or the Coal Engine Startup Guide, you can see that we can either connect via IP address or the server URL. Either or would work. I got both depending on the algorithm or type of currency that I'm mining to work. Uh, but if you try the server URL dot the port number and it doesn't work, try the IP address. And to get that IP address, we can simply go to what's my IP.org, right? Click on who is DNS and actually search that server URL. Take out the port number and take out anything before it. So we just want the USSE for southeast.viper.net, DNS lookup, and boom, there is our IP address. We could set up a, a number of different ways. So we could do the stratum TCP IP, colon slash slash, the server URL, exactly as Viper presents it to us. And then maybe for the secondary pool, we might try... Um, the IP address instead. So let's do that. 
Uh, you only have to configure one of these pools, but it's good to have backups. So let's go ahead and grab this IP, put that in there, and obviously want to include the uh, port number, but with colon 5067. And then you can copy again or put in a different server. Like let's say we try the, I wouldn't try the SSL. I would just stay on Stratum TCP. Uh, so we'll just try this one without Stratum TCP and just put it in there as a backup of a backup of a backup. Now it's time for your wallet address. Now, very important thing here is that in the guide, it says do not, basically don't put your worker name in there, right? So don't put your wallet name dot worker. Uh, don't put any extra parameters in there. Like for example, with unminable, don't use the reference um, URL or like your code that you might get from Red Panda or myself, Serpent X. Uh, to save on fees, it just seems to trip up something. So just don't put anything else, just your wallet address. However, if you have like F2 pool or Brains pool or whatever you might be using uh, that supports, because Brains is, is just SHA-256 or Bitcoin, you might be provided with a user and sub account. So in this example, what we would say here is, let's say our our, our user or our sub account is, you know, uh, Caspa X or Caspa X dot... You know, XSF1 is the worker or, or the, the the worker on that sub account. That's how that would look. So Caspa X dot XSF1. But in this case, we just want to put our wallet address. Now, obviously, depending on the cryptocurrency, you're going to have to go and get your wallet address. If you don't have one already, uh, there's a number of different ways. And I even have some guides on the channel that can help you out depending on the uh, cryptocurrency, Alpheum, Radiant, so on and so forth, how to generate a wallet how to grab a wallet address, so on and so forth. But let's just assume that you already have your wallet address. We put all that in. So now we got our server URLs, port numbers, all that is good, as well as our wallet or sub account name. Now pool parameter. Something I want to cover uh, is pool parameter does vary based upon the algorithm you're on and the server you're with. For example, with Alpheum, even though it's on Hero Miners, you can see that pool parameter is default, while Carlson on Hero Miners uses pool parameter fish okay so just pay attention to that what i would recommend is is because it only has uh hero miners hash pool dot space f2 pool um and that's pretty much it what i would say is try default first under pool parameter and if that doesn't work try fish or 666 pool what you would actually see is if you do put on default um and set it and you go back to look at the status page and it's not saying mining or it restarts because it's getting too many hash errors, which you can see at the top section here. If we scroll over, I'm going to show you exactly where the hash errors are. The hash error is going to be up here in this area. So you can see my hash error rate is 0.8%. And most importantly, is accepted shares and rejected shares. So this one shows two, uh, over 2,600 accepted shares. 164 maybe stale or rejected shares. So that's actually not too bad. But if you're getting a whole bunch... The miner will continue to restart and then you'll be stuck in a loop. So if default doesn't work, try fish. If fish doesn't work, try 666 pool. But once you choose the correct pool parameter, set it up everything else, what do we need to do? We need to click start set. When we hit start set, we'll be able to see a, a prompt pop up. And then that means it has been updated. Then hit OK. And then what we might actually see is at the worker level or going back to the main tab, machine info, we might be able to see it updating or modifying. It might change from mining to stopping and then to loading, uh, or it might just continue mining if you already had that pool set. It just depends on what exactly you are changing. But in this case, the pool configuration is now set. And if we want to make sure that the pool configuration is what we have here, we can just click read parameter and it outputs it. It gives us the server URL port number. It gives us the wallet address. And it even tells us the default or the pool parameter, which is default for all, including the algorithm at the bottom for Radiant. And that is how you set up a pool. If you wanted to do it for a different algorithm, same exact thing. Just change, obviously, the server port um, and whatever you need. Let's go to Viper one more time and go take a look at the other algorithm supported. So Alpheum, there we go. We select it. You can see the port number changed a little bit. Pool might be a little bit different. But pretty much everything else is the same. Except, so it jumped from 5067 port to 5050. So we choose Alpheum. Uh, we put in our wallet address. And then choose default at the beginning. Fish if it doesn't work or we get a lot of errors. So on and so forth. If I wanted to convert 
this server URL one more time. It's probably going to be the same IP address because nothing really changed as far as the southeast. U.S. southeast from Viper. So that IP address is probably going to be the same. So the only thing I need to do is change the port number. And then we're good to go there. As well as this one's exact same thing. So all of that is good to go. I'm changing the algorithm. And I can hit start set. Click OK. Wait a little bit. Check it at the minor level. And then just hit read parameter to read what it's actually written to the device so that is how you configure and set up your pools as i always mentioned doesn't matter which miner or hardware you're using when you have your pool configured and you set it don't just set it and forget it go to the pool level check it out and make sure that the hash rate is reporting correctly uh and that you're not mining to somebody else's wallet address but it's just that simple just know that if you did change for example from radiant to alpha in here and you didn't update the algorithm, you will need to do that. And we'll go over how to update the algorithm on these machines in a different video. So stay tuned for that. But that's going to do it for today. So hit that like button on the way out. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out additional links in the description. that will support the channel and what we do here. And you have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one.